If you're like me and got all of the Affinity Suite, so you've got photo, publisher, as well as designer, well, you can share the assets. Now, what's the assets? What are they? So go over here to assets. You can find that in window and down here to assets. And basically it's anything, anything can be put in here. So with this, you can just simply just drag and just add it to your document very quickly. But what if you want to use this, of course, in publisher or in designer? Well, of course, you could go over here to file and go to editing designer and just use it that way. Or just simply copy and paste it, of course. That's another option. But also what you can do is you can make certain this set of assets, any of them, can be shared and be used in designer as well as publisher. So how to do that? Well, just go over here. And if you just click here, you can see all of the libraries I've got here for photo. And you'll notice there's a little bar at the side. Now you've got here dot designs, that's got a link. And that means I can use it in publisher as well as designer. But you'll notice I've got some that I haven't got that. So let's just go to patterns. So I select that and I've got some pattern designs. Now, not particularly interested, of course, in using these in publisher or designer. But for example, what you can then do, simply just go up here, right side menu and click there and down here, link category. Now there's one weird feature of this. As soon as I do it, say link category, it's linked. Now you can see the link there, but there's no unlink category. So you have to make certain you actually want to link it. Otherwise you'll just end up linking lots of things but you will never be able to unlink. So now let's just go to designer. So in designer now, if I go exactly the same place, window and assets, and here in assets, you can see all the links there and I can go down and pattern one. And you can see now I've got those assets there and it's got that little link. So I can use it here to simply just drag, maybe this one, drag that and so on. And you can see that's a pattern design and you can squeeze that. Of course, Designer doesn't come with patterns, but you can use patterns in Designer very quickly via this assets. And of course now, if I go here to Publisher, do exactly the same. In Publisher, I can go to Window and down here to Assets again. And now I've got Assets somewhere over there, hidden away. Oh, there it is, Assets. So Assets, again, just simply go down there and you can see I've got now patterns. Before, that wasn't there. So click that. And again, I can now just drag this over. And again, I've got patterns and other things, obviously, inside Publisher. The course does not feature pattern designs in the same way as Photo. Now, if I go back to Photo, let's just go back to Photo. There's another option as well. All you need to do is go up here with obviously select that category. And then you can go up here to the right side menu and you can export the assets. So you say export. And now you can select a folder. Let's just go to my desktop. And I can just say assets one and save. I've just saved it. And now I can go to designer and do exactly the same, but this time import. So just go up here again and import assets. So select that and then go and you'll notice the file. It's an assets file, AF assets. And then just click open. And then, of course, I've now brought them in. And of course, I've also already got it already. So it's put a two there nicely to show that I've actually got it twice. And that is a quick way of moving assets from photo to designer to publisher, as also from publisher into photo or designer into photo as well. You can do it obviously the other way around. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Always adding new tutorials about photo, designer, as well as publisher, and of course, other applications such as Photoshop. Bye.